Greeting once again. We are still continuing with uh, first principle differentiation. The question is still the same, but we keep changing the functions. How do you handle a fraction that requires you to find its first uh, differentiation using first principle? The problem for today says, given the function f at x is equal to 1 over x, I am required to determine f prime of x using first principle. Here is the first principle. Here is the first principle. This one will, will be provided to you uh, on your formula sheet. Before I even start about the solution, please don't forget to subscribe, guys. Please subscribe. Yeah, I'll wait for you to subscribe and then I'll continue with the, uh, the solution. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can see that you just subscribe now. All right. Uh, okay. In this problem, we have the function f at x. We will use the usual way that we normally uh, find f prime of f at x plus h. So we start by finding f at x plus h. Okay. So we want to find f at x plus h. So where to how do you find f at x plus h? Where I see x, I plug x plus h. So here x is a denominator. So instead of x, I'll replace it with x plus h. So this is my f at x plus h. So now I want to find the first differentiation or first derivative. Okay f prime of x using first principle can be found by letting limb as h tends to 0 f at x plus h minus f at x all over h all right i still continue with my limits as x approaches 0 Instead of writing f at x plus h, now I replace it with 1 over x plus h. So it becomes 1 over x plus h minus, instead of f at x, I know that my f at x is 1 over x. Minus 1 over x all over h. Alright. What is the next step? The next step is to find NCD when you work with um, terms being separated by the operation plus or minus. So here, limit as h approaches zero, I will take x into x plus h to be my LCD for this top fraction. Right, do the cross multiplication here. So I just multiply this, you multiply this, you multiply this, you multiply by this. I think it is clear. So x times 1 becomes x minus here have 1 x plus h. I divide by h. So here I have a limit as h tends to 0. So if you can look up here, it becomes x minus x minus h over x times x, it's x squared plus xh. Don't forget about this one. You can divide by h and then you can convert division into multiplication. But by converting division into multiplication, that means h will be now be 1 over h. So a limit as h approaches 0, x and x, they cancel one another. Here I'm left with minus x, minus h in fact. So minus h and this h will cancel one another and I'll be left with minus 1 over x squared plus x h. Since there's nothing that I can do now, I have to let my h to be equal to 0. 
So when I let my h to be equal to zero, there is no necessity for me to continue with writing limit as h tends to zero because I've already made my h to be zero. So here, it will be minus one over x squared plus x multiplied by zero, which becomes minus one over x squared. This is the solution.